Welcome, we're out here checking out solar experiments and using passive solar to be able to heat your greenhouse or heat a thermal mass. I apologize if I sound a little congested, I do have a cold. So we're gonna check this out here. I'm gonna click our power source on so we can start pumping water up through. So once our water runs in, it runs through all this copper coil down through and we're gonna catch it in this little cup. Tends to be a little sporadic early in the morning. <laughs> We've got a lot of heat buildup in there. I can already see steam rising off. So, well, showing 97 degrees. So we're showing 104 coming in there, 107. So we've got about 54, 53 degrees on the water in here, and it was between 53 and 55 in the tank, overnight temps. It was pretty darn chilly last night in the 20s, not too bad for winter time, but still, we're putting a ton of heat through this system. This little guy just keeps running. It's still running down here. It's just up against the wall, so it's not making much noise there. So this is just a little autonomous system. I will turn the timer on. It'll run for 15 minutes. So as we're building those temperatures up for 45 minute intervals for every hour, we are going to purge that heat every 15 minutes. So we will cycle through all 50 feet of copper, and then it's still running down here. It's got 15 minutes left on there, and we're pumping some darn good warm water in there at least 90 degrees or so still and that is continual because of the angle of light coming in we've got better sunlight as it's starting to warm up in here at our window opening here it is so darn warm in here we've got the stove going we're drying bricks and doing all types of stuff I really wanted to share that solar heating box I have this other box, there's some truck backing up, maybe it's the ComEd guys checking power lines, we had a wind storm. So we've got that little beeper going every once in a while in the background. I got this little jar that I had designed, because I was going to use this as an overflow tank, kind of like a purge or a reservoir, because we were creating a closed system. Now you can see this tank down here and the lines running to it. When I click that on button, I have this hooked up to solar power just a 12 volt simple solar I got both these fans wired together and I have a pump here this little tiny pump after about 15 minutes of using that pump we were creating our 30 percent vegetable glycerin and water mix so I kind of just gave it all away there I was trying to make some heavy water some water that had better thermal mass and less freezing temperature so that it lowered the freezing temperature and raised the thermal capacity with vegetable glycerin so we had mixed it up in this tank here we were filling our system and this little pump died on me so I'm gonna set up another pump I just wanted to get this out here and wanted to show it today we've got our solar sandbox that is actually gonna pump the heat through it so we've got maybe 15 20 feet of copper inside sand inside a sealed box that is insulated I just thought I would show the simple solar box that we have with copper and some steel in it running water with that simple little 12 volt pump here and box so it's able to charge that up very simple design this is a little more complicated behind me here as you can see we have a radiator system and a lot of heat exchange and stuff like that and a lot of systems to work together so if that pump doesn't work I'm not really pumping any heat because I can't move any of my heavy water or it would be my heat transfer fluid now because it is 30 percent vegetable glycerin so I've been experimenting with this I had it operating I just didn't even get to fill the system fully so I would like to show failures along with success so there's a lot of things that we can build for free with recycled materials to put a little bit of extra heat into your greenhouse so if you got some extra windows you can prop them up like we have behind me over here all of that little cold frame behind me or build a little solar heating box it's 
really really good to feel some sunlight out here so I wanted to share this with everybody if you guys have any questions on the system I'm still developing now I want to use a quiet pump but I'm finding myself I'm gonna have to use some type of transfer pump or something because it is not a submersible pump so the transfer pumps can be quite loud so I was trying to avoid that but that's kind of where this box is headed if anybody's got any questions definitely drop in the comments below I'm gonna go check on all of our bricks firing that'll be a separate video